college journalists coming together to cover their campus and uh, hone their craft and prepare to launch into the professional world. The State Press is completely student-run, so for me this means that I can be an actual reporter and not just an intern or a student. Like, I am the reporter, I am the editor, which is a special experience for me and I think for everybody as, you know, I go through my college career. This desk is the Echo. It's run by McKinley Lutz Adlock. Look at her lovely desk. They're wonderful people. This is a new desk that I created solely for the purpose of honoring creative writing and non-traditional um, journalism. And I think they do a very good job at it. People ask me all the time what the echo is or what it means. And honestly, it's pretty hard to say. I think mainly you just kind of have to read it to get a sense of what it is. Um, but it was created with the intention of being a home for writers who care a little bit more about narrative voice and style, um, kind of pushing the boundaries of what traditional journalism is with uh, essays and um, outside of the box reporting. This is our business science and technology desk. They do a great job at covering ASU research and technology and business news. Um, it's run by Ryan Vaughty. He's wonderful. <laughs> and this over here is our politics desk. So they cover everything from local campus politics like USG to local politics like city council, um, ledge and stuff. And then they also cover national politics sometimes and it applies to ASU in Arizona. And Savannah runs that desk and she's great. She's very wonderful. This is Andrew Howard, one of the managing editors, and Adrian, one of the other managing editors, and they oversee the senior reporters, which is why they're kind of just chilling in here now, where they hold their meeting. I'm, I'm fact-checking the story right now, which means that I'm going in and, and seeing what every statistic is on the uh, on the golf scores. So, for example, this player had 10 birdies, and so now I'm checking the golf statistics website and confirming that she did indeed have 10 birdies, which was the most on ASU's team. And we do this for every sports story. We make sure that all the statistics are correct. We here at the State Press sort of have a responsibility. We have sort of a duty to the students here, um, being the sort of leading student news publication here, um, to keep them informed, to sort of keep people accountable here at the university, um, and to make sure that all these students are sort of being served in that fashion. When someone brings a pitch, we have them come with a list of 10 sources that they can reach out to. Um, because magazine pieces are typically longer than pieces on the digital side. So it's always better to have too many sources than not enough. And then we also require like background research just to make sure that we have a strong foundation to go off of before we start reporting. Well, I actually jumped ship over to the magazine. I used to be a digital kid for I think three semesters um, and that was really fun. Um, but I just saw the mag and what they were doing and just kind of the creativity of the whole thing and that was something I really wanted to be involved in. And so, you know, I came over here and I feel like I've had a chance to go a little bit more in depth into stories um, and to kind of just let those creative juices flow a little bit more on this side than the digital side. We cover basically all ASU athletics um, from football, basketball, to the smaller sports like soccer and volleyball. Um, we take a lot of pride in, in reporting objectively and, and to bring uh, the ASU community in the loop with, with our game coverage. So, this is podcast. This is one of the many multimedia desks. Um, they do long form audio stories. 
um, on everything from politics to community-oriented stories um, and a bunch of other um, original content stories. Um, like we, like I just said, we do do original content, but we also do supporting content for other desks um, if they so need it. Um, but for the majority, uh, the most part, they're doing stuff on their own, which is pretty cool. Another multimedia desk we have is the video desk right here. Um, they are in charge of making all of these sort of um, video content that comes out from the state press that includes you know, sports recaps, normal recaps, um, or the bevy of original content that they sort of work on. We have kind of a unique opportunity to tell stories in a different way um, and kind of capture some true feelings on camera and provide a really cool visual um, aspect for stories. So this is our opinion desk. They write opinions from things about politics, to sustainability, to sports, and they do a very great job on showcasing the diverse voices and um, opinions of the ASU community, I believe. Inside, we have the illustration desk, which is, I am rudely interrupting their pitch meeting right now, um, but they are in charge of making all of the visual elements for all of our stories, the ones that aren't photos anyway. Um, all of the pretty graphics, all of the pretty artwork that you see on social media and on our website is done by these kind folks. So we were debating on what is more 90s. Is it Raptar with the jazz pattern of the paper cup, or is it a Tamagotchi? This is our community and culture desk. Um, they cover general campus news. They do some great cultural coverage, breaking news. They really do it all. Ellie Vorst and it's your customer run this desk. Wonderful ladies, highly recommend. Hello, Jess. Are you busy? A uh, little bit. <laughs> I'll be one second. Okay, um, and this is photography. This is the other side of our visual elements is there, um, where all of our other headers go that aren't uh, you know, sort of graphic art. Um, all of the photos uh, for the sports games, for all of the community stories, for politics stories, it's all done by these kind folk as well. Um, they are, um, an, again, another important part um, of the state press, making sure um, that we look nice, all of our stories look nice, they have nice multimedia um, elements accompanying all of our stories. There's very few opportunities where everything is run by students and these young people get to take a really active role in creating uh, these journalism uh, products that really serve our community. Um, so the State Press is, it exists on a couple levels for me. On one hand, it's a news organization. Uh, it's kind of, we aim for professional standards uh, and it is a job in that sense. It's also a family and a friend group to me. For a lot of people, including myself, the State Press it means family and it's the first place I ever really felt like I was a journalist. 